Okay, sir. So hello everyone and welcome to this episode. Today we are going to talk about placement processes and different stages involved in it. As students have scarce knowledge about this, this episode will cover all the FAQs about placement. It is our pleasure pleasure today we have with us Rohit Ranjan sir, a 2021 pass out of Tripoli uh, department, currently plays at Intel Corp to address us about this placement experience. So hello sir, it's a pleasure to have you. Yeah, good evening, Salam. Good evening. So before we dive into the questions, uh, I would like uh, to know about how your uh, work experience currently is. How what uh, what is that you exactly do? If you could brief it to us. So uh, basically, uh, I joined Intel in the month of July 2020, and so and then I got the PPO, and now I am working in the system integration team, where system integration team involves the preparation of software. We provide the software to verification team, and then. Uh, so a verification team does the testing on it and then we deliver the uh, software to the customer so in overall this system integration charter uh, my work is related to just i convert the source code into the application binary by taking all the relevant source, source code files i compile the source code files and then i run the automated unit test on it and then i convert it into uh, application binary that consists of the executable project dependencies and all like that once it is converted to application binary, then we provide that binary to the uh, verification team. They do the testing, and then whole uh, software preparation is go goes ahead after that process. So this is this is all about uh, what I am doing at Intel. Right. That's really interesting, sir. And I wish you steady success. So with this, uh, let's dive into the our questions. So my first question is, what was the profile for which Intel was hiring? Uh, basically, Intel was hiring for graduate and undergraduate technical intern. Uh, so that was the profile for Intel. Okay. So, what was the process to involve to get into this PPO? Like, what so, was it exactly? Okay. So exactly, the students who have joined uh, as an inter, uh, Intel as an intern. So th those students, those candidates, has to uh, say uh, just contribute their. Uh, internship that like how they are working and based on their performance they will get the ppu so this is all uh, uh, dependent how you are performing and how your contribution in the team so that is all about the ppu uh, can you tell us more about what you did during this time in internship so actually during this internship i was uh, uh, as an undergraduate technical intern so i tried to do the uh, the automated unit test on the source code file. First thing was that. Second thing, is I was involving in the creating the source code and co converting into that application binary. That application binary is called as a software artifact. So that is for, very important for uh, 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 that uh, doing the verification. So this is all about I am doing. This is a whole charter. So basically, that software we were doing for that was a modern software and. Overall, this work I was related during, and I was also responsible for the release process of the software as well. Okay, sir. So this was what you did in the internship. Uh, I would really like to know about what was the duration of it. So duration, it was of 11 months of duration. So I started on 15th of July and uh, completed on 28th of May. So at uh, there was a point where you were uh, handling your uh, like academics and as well as this internship together. If you would like to tell us, how did you handle it? So uh, basically, academics and internship both were conflicting. But uh, uh, my priority was that I should uh, hired in my team as an uh, as a full time employee. So uh, academics I was also handling with the help of my uh, fellow colleagues and uh, friends. Then I was. Uh, in night time, I was about to study for the academics, and in the daytime, I I really prepare for the Intel internship activities. So overall, I try to do uh, the activities of academics in uh, weekend also. So in weekend, I try to remember all this and do the all the things. So this is all about my internship and the academic activities. I see. So the result is of course from a, a lot of hard work which you have put into it, sir. And uh, I'd also like to know about the stipend. What did they offer? So stipend for undergraduate it was thirty five thousand per month and for graduate it was forty thousand per month. Uh, okay, sir. So with that, I, I move to my next question. Uh, what were the package choices that were offered to you by them? So uh, as per uh, TNP records, it was fourteen point eighty six lakh per annum for uh, undergraduate people. So that was the CTC offered by Intel. Okay. 
so what was the selection process of intel let's now move into the selection part of it so what was the procedure of it so uh, basically procedure consists of two rounds first was the cv shortlisting round that uh, uh, the candidate have to send their cv to tnp and then the intel will select the cv so those who are uh, selected in the first round then the first interview round was there so first interview round is uh, cleared then you are converted and uh, you are selected as an intel so only two rounds for me was there but for some uh, panels there was three rounds as well okay sir so could you tell us about what do you think were the highlights of your cv when you submitted it to the tnp okay so in cv i just mentioned that what are the internships and what are the courses i have did first thing was that and uh, in which important subjects uh, i was uh, good that's like i mentioned the digital electronics microcontroller and microprocessor and uh, what are the projects i i did at that time so these are all three points as mentioned and i i i tried to make the cv in only one phase that was the most important point that every candidate should have to do so this was all about my cv okay so the length of the cv also matters a lot uh, we need to make it concise okay sir so with that insightful uh, comment i would like to go on to the next question how many rounds and what type of rounds were involved in the hiring process so uh, basically it was the total three rounds were there in during the yes. hiring process so first was i told that cv shortlisting second was the personal interview round so in personal interview round the total three rounds consisting of three activities you can say uh, 10 minutes of each and those who are selected at personal interview then other there was one final interview that was called the third uh, round that was the in final round okay sir so could you please describe these rounds for us like as you said there were three particular rounds and there was personal interview round if you could give a little bit of information about all of these yeah so uh, basically in personal interview round there was total three rounds consisting of 10 minutes activity so uh, students were called out uh, regarding their respective branches so i was from tripoli so uh, in my panel only tripoli students were there the first round was consisting of soft skill round where uh, just uh, some questions were there just like uh, introduce about yourself and uh, why should we hire you at intel second round was the aptitude and uh, uh, logical thinking round that uh, that was based on that uh, how you solve the aptitude and logical uh, thinking reasoning question so uh, that consists of blood relations questions number series and missing objects mm. that was that mm. and third round was the most important the technical round that uh, what type of uh, technical question so it depends on the interview so the interview asked me on the basis of digital electronics so that was all about the first interview sir so, uh, what preparation tips would you give for this kind of interview as you said about the technical interview they'll ask about our course subjects so what is the biggest tip which you can give to students like us so uh, basically i belong from tripoli uh, background so in tripoli we have one digital electronics subject so one one who are preparing yes, for sir. intel the or c must be good at digital electronics from a uh, uh, basic latches to flip flops to designing of logic gate so that is the most important part and second one is that we should be also good in the scripting part whether you choose c c++ python any one any one will work better and the third one is the uh, that uh, embedded systems just like in triple e we also study microcontroller and microprocessor 8085 and 808 so those will also work better if we know the system architecture and the interrupt involved in this uh, type of uh, 8085 and 808 and if you extend your knowledge then i should suggest you should go with uh, some computer operating systems and computer networking basic also okay sir so all of these are equally important from core and some little extra knowledge also about the, what they are going to we should be ready with it that's what you want to say yes Okay, sir. So let's move on to my next question. What was your overall opinion about the drive? How was so, it executed? So, uh, drive was yes. So, uh, drive was conducted uh, online mode, and it was a campus interview uh, drive. So, uh, all was requested to come in the formal dress, and uh, and uh, the all the students were called out in a different panel, and different panels were consisting of the same branch. Just like I was called in a triple E, some were called in E C, and some were called in C. Okay, sir. So, what points do you think made you different from the other applicants, sir? If you could go into that. 
if i would remember correctly so that is the most important point that if you are aiming for a such big company like intel then you have to be something different right so on that time uh, our mid term exams were also conflicting with the drive so maine socha yaar mid term bhi ho raha hai internship bhi chal raha hai is pe dhyan diya jaye तो मैंने सोचा कि चलो इंटर्नशिप पे ध्यान देते हैं इंटर्नशिप पे फोकस करते हैं मिड टर्म पे कर लेंगे बात तो सारे जो ट्रिपल ई के स्टूडेंट्स तो मिड टर्म देख रहे थे मैंने इंटर्नशिप पे ध्यान दिया और मैंने इंटर्नशिप का पूरा 100 परसेंट प्रिपरेशन करा सेकेंड थिंग इज दैट यू शुड ऑल्सो थिंक अबाउट दैट इफ यू आर एमिंग फॉर सच बिग कंपनीज देन यू शुड हैव सम रिसर्च एंड एनालिसिस दैट वट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन शुड बी आस्क बिफोर एपेरिंग टू इंटरव्यू सो आई कंसल्टेड एंड कॉन्टेक्टेड मेनी Uh, seniors who were uh, just joined Intel as an intern, and I and I asked that uh, how did you prepare and what type of questions were asked. Third was that uh, the questions were presented in a different manner, and I solved the questions in a different manner. Just like uh, uh, some questions were given for aptitude and logical, so all the students were doing that. They were pen and paper ka sahara le rahe the. But I did what I did without pen and paper. I solved the questions. So that was the most uh, I think that the uh, the important point. and the third last but not least that uh, it should be uh, technically enough to uh, handle those all those solutions right right i was uh, i have done my internship in it right to c and c++ and i also did some internship related to the electronic sector so and i was also a tnp coordinator so this uh, that reflects that you are also a team player and we will be a team player in the internship right that, that so that was the those all important parts which reflects that you are going to uh be a part of it so this was the all important part that was really great to know sir that the entire uh, story of how you managed everything together and sir also i'd like to ask like how did you gain the courage to uh, not look at it mitsim so that's something like uh, really anyone would have done yes. so uh, yeah, i would say that uh, mitsim would uh, just like i can say मिड सेम तो हमेशा आएंगे यार मिड सेम हर एक सेम में दो बार आएंगे मिड सेम में ए, मतलब ऐसा नहीं है कि तुम मिड सेम पास नहीं कर सकते मतलब मिड सेम इतना आसान होता है कि नाइन्टी सिक्सटीन में जो बच्चे अच्छे हैं टेक्निकली सही है वो कर सकते हैं तो बैलेंस होता है यार मिड सेम रैन देते हैं मिड सेम हो जाएगा बाद में पहले इंटेल पर ध्यान देते हैं अगर इंटेल हाथ से गया तो फिर कुछ नहीं रहेगा मतलब आगे ही अपॉर्चुनिटी फिर हमें नहीं मिल पाएगी क्योंकि इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रियली get into intel then the campus internship is one of the biggest opportunity otherwise you will be missed so i was thinking ki agar ek hi seat hai intel mein to wo seat rohit ka hoga so that was the college i thought and then i i i, I didn't uh, look at that bit and that I, i should go for the bit and i like that that was a really uh, strong mindset you have i hope uh, all our viewers also concur with it and learn something from that uh, with that i come to my last question sir what would be your piece of advice for students aiming for similar placements sir yeah so uh, if you are going for such big companies big organizations just like intel so i would suggest that you should be technically sound technically sound in the sense you should know some basic uh, knowledge related to the vlsi domain uh, just like uh, you should have a good knowledge of digital electronics second is the uh, that uh, how you are designing the latch that is flip flops logic gates multiplexer d multiplexer all is about that then embedded system should be the best important part that uh, that this 8085 and 8086 and more and more about that and scripting also plays a very important a uh, play in the, in that interview that uh, either you are able to write some code or not that that, that also depends and uh, that the last but not least that if you are aiming for this internships and the preparation then you should be a uh, good just like you are eager and reluctant to learn that uh, yes i am going to learn everything that should be some our mindset because you can see i am from triple e domain but i have landed into software so i i just made my ma- mindset that i have to be in intel and i have to learn anything so this is all about the mindset and the preparation basic and uh, also you should go with the computer uh, networking and computer operating system this is, these are also the basic uh, uh we should we should know computer uh, networking just like a uh, node trees uh, uh dns propagation system uh, uh, tcp ip and this is all about the basics and also the operating system so that is all about the preparation point of view so that i guess that advice will be really fruitful for our viewers because most of us are also on the same path and anticipating a good placement 
and everyone wishes for us uh, to be placed in a company like Intel. I hope this piece of advice will be really helpful for us. Thanks a lot, sir, for joining us, taking time out of your valuable, uh, taking a time slot out of your valuable time. And uh, let's hope that our viewers make the best of it. Thanks a lot, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. Have a good day. Thank you, sir.